Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to Psychic Celluloid Signals. Today I'm going to be talking about not one, not two, but seven films. All seven original Nightmare on Elm Street films, to be exact. Before I begin, I'll give you guys a look at what's inside the box set. Alright guys, here it is. The case is inside the slip cover right here. I'll take off. I like the artwork on it. It's simple but effective. So inside, we have five discs in total, four Blu-ray discs, and one DVD. Disc one has the original film. Disc two, if I can get there, has Freddy's Revenge and Dream Warriors. Disc three has Dream Master and Dream Child. Disc four, the last Blu-ray, has Freddy's Dead, as well as Wes Craven's New Nightmare. The DVD is packed with bonus material, which is in addition to all the loads of bonus material on all the other discs. The case is nice, doesn't take too much space on my shelves, and the discs are very easy to remove and replace, which is something that I really appreciate. I'll put those right there. Uh, there's nothing worse than spending good money on films, especially box sets, only to find that they're damn near impossible to remove from the case. Or even worse, you find that removing the discs from the case is scratching the discs up. Like the new Alien Anthology set I recently got. But that's a different story for a different video. Now let's get back to the films at hand. As you can see, it's a nice little box set. It's absolutely packed with content, much of which I haven't even gotten around to watching. But I did just binge watch the movies over the past couple days. I thought the transfer quality looked fantastic, but I did just get a new TV which may skew my opinions towards thinking anything looks great. Before getting this set, I'd only seen the first three films and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Even though I'd certainly say that I'd already seen the best of the franchise before buying this set, I think all of the films are worth seeing if you're a big fan of the first few films. Though some of the later films, like Dream Master and Freddy's Dead, severely lacked in character development and plot, they did have redeeming qualities. Dream Child, I thought, was notable for several instances of pretty cool body horror. And Freddy's Dead had funny cameo from Johnny Depp, who went by the pseudonym of Oprah Noodle Mantra in the credits. <laughs> and of course, all of these films star Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger. For what I spent on this set, I was more than, it was more than worth picking up. Though I did get it on sale, I think it would even be worth picking up at the price that it's retailing at, which I think is around $50 or so. If you already have some of the films on Blu-ray, this upgrade may not be worth the price, but if you only have the DVDs like I did, there's an enormous improvement with the upgrade. That's it for my review on the box set. Eventually, I may take a look a more in-depth look at some of my favorite Freddy films, like the first one in Dream Warriors. But for now, I wish you guys a great start to 2017. If you guys see someone in a dream with knives on his hand, maybe hit up your local coffee shop. See ya.